In this lesson of Learn and Speak Tamil Like a Native, we are going to see a very important topic called pronunciation. Pronunciation is very important for any language because if you don't pronounce it right, it's going to not sound natural. And it's even very hard for a listener to understand what you say. So let us dive into it and learn pronunciation, Tamil pronunciation. I'll be making a detailed lesson in the following videos, but for now, in this lesson, we are going to see just a very glaring pronunciation mistake that almost all learners of Tamil do. Let us try to get over it. It is very important lesson, so I just need your undivided attention for the next few minutes. The lesson that we are going to see now and all the words and examples that we are going to see now it directly relates to the spoken language. I'll be making a separate video on written language or the formal language, but this one is a very conversational day-to-day -day spoken Tamil. Let us see it now. So, as I said, let us see the first one is kadamai, meaning duty. And kadamai, that's how it's written, but when you say that, it is kadame. It is kadame. The next one is unaku, unaku. But if you read it, probably people do the mistake of reading it unaku, and that is how it is. Because if you read it letter by letter, it is going to be unaku, unaku. But no, it is unaku. But a more formal one will be unaku. However, when you speak day to day Tamil language, is Wanaku, wanaku. That's why I made it O N A K K, and that U, the capital U there, pronounce as U. Wanaku. It is not wanaku. It is wanaku. U. Wanaku. So whenever you see something as U, a capital U, it is U sound. Wanaku. The next one is Avan. It is. Ave. It is not avan. It is ave. The next one is mugam, meaning face, and it is the. If you re write it properly, it is going to be, or if you pronounce it exactly how it is written, it is going to be like mugam, mugam, mugam. No. However, when you say that in a very conversational or even a uh, formal Tamil, it is mugam, mugam. Mogam, and then when you speak, the M becomes silent, and you say Mogon, Mogon. So let let me repeat all that one by one. Kadame, it is not Kadamai. No, it's Kadame. Onak, Ame, Mogon. Hope you understand how different it is from what's written and what's spoken. So it's only that you have to understand that this this. Method is something you have to understand, then it's going to be easy for you over time. Let us take a phrase now and try to understand the pronunciation part by part. I'm going, I'm giving only this to you, meaning I'm giving only this one to you. I'm not giving everything, that's a meaning that's easy for you to understand. Unaku ida matto naan tare. Now let us see the first word unaku. Unaku means to you or for you. And you, if you try to understand, there is no sound such as u like to, do, or a u that we use in English. That doesn't exist at the end of the word in Tamil. It doesn't, you don't say that as u or a, with a u kind of a long sound. It is instead it's U, unaku, unaku, meaning for you. So una, when you see a capital letter U, it means the sound U, unaku. It is not, if you read it letter by letter, theoretically it may seem like, it may sound like unaku, unaku, but no, it is unaku. The next one, you can read it there, I have also written, there is no sound like ending like a uh, in uh, the English kind of la or a ka. No, such a sound doesn't exist. Otherwise, you'll read that as e-da. 
see the next one there after unak e da no but you don't say that as e da such a sound does an exist in tamil you never say that as e da instead you say e da so the first one is u the second one is unak the second one is a u a unak e da this one and the next one we are going to say is mattom meaning if you read it properly word by word i mean letter by letter it is going to be like mattum mattum ma ittu im mattum no it is mattom ma to o and the m becomes silent it becomes mattom unakku ida mattom so we have seen three unakku ida mattom means for you just this alone and the fourth word is na meaning i again it is n is silent there because it comes at the end and always when you see a word like m or n at the end it always gets a kind of a nasal silence so like matton you don't say matto it is a matton m still you can listen the a uh, kind of a nasal m and na na i na so it is the first one is unak meaning for you the sound is not u it is not unaku it is unak u and the next one is ida ida so when you see a capital e it is always a uh, this is how all many many of the words in tamil end either it will end with the u sound or a a sound or with a silent m or with a silent n instead of silent i would say a nasal silent m or a nasal silent n so unakku ida mattum na tharen thara means i'm giving so let's leave that the last one because again it has a dot n which we have already seen so it is if you read that i mean try reading it letter by letter theoretically it is going to be like unaku ida mathum nan tharen this is how i see often times i very often i hear people uh, spelling out like this or speaking like this it's absolutely wrong i mean it's instead of saying wrong that's a little rude but it's uh, it's not like tamil it's unlike tamil because they are using the transliteration of an english to speak tamil which doesn't fit in so properly in another language so let me repeat it unakku e unakku ida mattum na tare okay so let's see some a few examples for you to understand better okay now the next one is you have to clearly make the distinction here between the long sound and the short sound what we earlier saw was the short sound in case of long sounds which is called as nedal in tamil we have something called kurul which means a short sound and nedal which is a elongated sound when the elongated sound you say as it is you don't have to change anything it is when say for instance karuppu meaning black here you change the pu pu to p karuppu you did not say karuppu you said karuppu but the next one is malliga pu it is pu is an elongated form an elongated letter here you say it as it is you don't change it to a sound or u sound instead you say whenever it is an elongated letter at the end you say it as as it is malliga pu it is malliga pu but the first one was karuppu u but the next one become u a long malliga pu similarly there is the next one we are going to see is pala pala means many we don't say it as pala pa pa la no we say pa la pa la but when it is elongated it becomes pala then you say it as it should be it becomes pala because it's a elongated letter pala meaning jackfruit 
pala para meaning jack fruit so the first one is not pala it is instead pala pala but when it is elongated it becomes pala so though it may seem a little uh, confusing for you no it is not at all just uh, practice it for 5 10 20 minutes and then you can make the other uh, distinction clearly now let us see some few examples what do you want among them adula unakku enna venum adula unakku enna venum so if you try to read it letter by letter it becomes adula adula no it is adula adula the next one is unakku now it becomes unakku adula unakku enna again a sound veno the nasal partly silent m adula unakku enna veno what do you want among them it is not adula unakku enna venum now it is adula unakku enna veno what do you want among them i don't like to eat that and all enakku adalla saapida pudikadu so enakku it is not enakku it is enakku adalla adalla saapida meaning to eat pudikadu i don't like i don't like to eat that and all enakku adalla saapida pudikadu so all the ending letter has a slightly different sound from what people usually think it should be no it is enakku adalla saapida pudikadu the next one is he is insistent insistent is also something in this context we are using the word adon adon means like a child you know playing truant not ready to going to school or is very unyielding you know not ready to accept or uh, you know making a fussy child that's the meaning here he is insistent what to do <clears throat> adon pidikira adon pidikira that's the one word adon pidikiradu meaning to behave fussy you know it's usually used for children adon pidikira he is making a fuss he is very insistent and unyielding and making a fuss adon pidikira enna pannaradu what to do adon pidikira enna pandrathu enna pannaradu adon pidikira enna pandrathu i went alone hardening my heart means with a lot of compromise it's a very touching phrase manasa kallakikittu na mattum poiten manasa meaning your heart your mind or heart kallakikittu means you hardened it make it made it a stone you know you hardened your and then you went which means you're not happy to go but you had to go that's the meaning here that is the context here manasa kallakikittu mean manasa kallakikittu na mattum just i i alone poiten i went i had gone மனச கல்லாக்கிக்கிட்டு நான் மட்டும் போயிட்டேன் இட் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஃபார் யூ டு லிசன் டு மோர் அண்ட் மோர் சவுண்ட்ஸ் தென் ஜஸ்ட் லேர்னிங் த்ரூ பிரிண்ட் மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் த வேர்ட் தட் வி ரீட் நவ டேஸ் ஆல் த வேர்ட்ஸ் தட் வி சி இன் அ பிரிண்ட் ஆக்சுவலி ஆரிஜினேட்டட் ஃப்ரம் சம்படிஸ் மவுத் and then when repeated many times before it became an accepted standard word however when we reverse this logic and learn the sound from a written form it sounds very unnatural i heard many learners of tamil who have rich vocabulary very good with theoretical language however the wrong pronunciation kills all their good effort i'll be making a detailed lesson in the following videos but for now my best wishes to you for a prosperous and fantastic year ahead all the best with your tamil learning see you soon